Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is about the display of audio information. So there are a couple of preferences which you can tweak on this which will allow you to get this set up the way that you want. A lot of this will depend not only on personal preferences but also the screen that you're viewing it on. So I find that on my main DOW which is 4K screen at 100% I want different settings than on my MacBook. So this will give you the flexibility to play around with it and just get this set up the way that you like. So this is a preference, so on Mac OS it's under Cubase and Preferences. On Windows you'll find it at the bottom of the Edit menu, but once you get there the options will be the same on both. So you want to go to Event Display and then Audio. So these are the preferences we're going to play around with here. So first things first, you can turn the waveforms off, you can just click that and then you get no waveforms. Seems slightly strange and I would always be thinking these are empty parts, so I'm going to put that back on. And the other thing you can play around with is background color modulation. So if you turn this on, the background of those waveforms is shown in sort of intensity. So you get these like bars of intensity on there and you can even combine that with turning the waveforms off. And then you get these bars that remind me of a cinematic orchestra album cover from back in the day. That may be the way you want to view things. It's, it's certainly not the way I would want to view things. But these two controls here really are the main event here. So the waveform brightness and the outline intensity. So the waveform brightness, as you can see, if I put this all the way down to minimum, we get really, really black waveforms. Let's just turn that off as well. So we get those really, really black looking waveforms. And if we put them on maximum, you can get really white ones. So if that's the way you want to go, the user interface of Cubase has been sort of progressively getting darker as the years go on. So turning up to a brightness here is probably not a bad decision because otherwise it's getting a bit dark. The one thing I found with this is the scaling of this is slightly unintuitive. So it seems like there's not much variation here and not much variation here, but then there's a lot of variation around this middle point. It's the kind of thing that could do with maybe some kind of preview, but it's dependent, as you can see here, on the colors. Now, if you just put it in the middle, then all you're going to see is the outline of the waveforms, which again can be a slightly less in your face and intense view. And with the intensity, you can turn that all the way up like that, or you can turn it all the way down. And with that, we're almost not going to be able to see these. So these two interact, you'd spend a bit of time playing around with them and probably find a sweet spot wherever. But certainly I find that I have slightly different settings on my main DAW. And on here. Last thing is fade handle brightness. So if I highlight a fade here, so you can see we've got this fade in, fade out. You can alter those settings as well. So you can make it super white, which again isn't that much of a difference, or you can make it really black. But the problem with them being black, as you can see here, is if you've got something selected, they just disappear. If we put them in the middle of the road, they just become the color of the part. So I actually think on this, the default is pretty sensible because most of the time, unless you've got white parts, most of the time it's going to make some sense and be visible. So that's how you can customize the display of audio events. As ever, hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon for more music tech tuition.